While this isn't the prettiest antenna you'll ever see, it does work. Uh, all you have to do is put it on the wall behind your TV. No one will see it. Programming is rather straightforward. Using the menu button on your remote, open up the settings option and toggle down to installation and find auto program. Your TV options may be different than the one showing here, so consult your manual for the steps to take to get to where you need to activate auto program. On this screen, you will also see weak channel installation. That option allows you to manually add channels that might have not been picked up by the auto program. Toggle over to select cable or antenna, select antenna, and start the auto program feature. It may tell you that it will take up to a half an hour for this program to complete, but this one only took 59 seconds to find 18 digital channels in one analog channel. As you can see, all the channels are now available. In order to find out how many broadcast stations are within your reach, I've left a link down below to the FCC map. All you need to do is type in your zip code and you'll see what is available. The other address will show you how far away from the stations you are located. They both show signal strength for each station as well, suggesting you need more antenna at a higher cost as well as preamps and amplifiers. This just isn't true. All these add-ons are not necessary according to my experience. A broadcast station sends out a signal at a specific wattage. They determine the range of their signal and there's nothing you can do to increase the range of their signal. Some will tell you you need an amplifier or a preamplifier. You don't. What makes a difference is the size of your antenna. However, there is a point of diminishing returns, meaning that if a two square foot antenna does the job, adding another square foot on won't make any difference. Keep in mind that digital broadcasts are different than the outdated analog broadcasts. With analog, a weak signal could be picked up, but the picture would be very fuzzy, and the fuzziness would differ from broadcaster to broadcaster depending on the strength of their signal. With digital, the signal is either on or off, clear as a bell, or not visible at all. An amplifier won't make any difference at all. Digital also changed antenna requirements, allowing for smaller antennas to do the same job. Some may argue that antenna design makes a difference as well, but this antenna proves that wrong. Two sheets of aluminum foil is not much of a design factor, is it? Location of your antenna in the house will make a difference. The best location for this antenna is on the outside wall facing the broadcast station. Meaning if your broadcast station is to the south, put the antenna on the south wall. Weather can sometimes be a factor in reception too. Another factor is antenna location on the wall. Sometimes moving the antenna as little as 6 inches in any direction will change reception, especially during a storm or other atmospheric event going on between you and the broadcast station. There may be times when one channel comes in and another one doesn't. And when you move the antenna, the one that didn't come in now comes in and the one that came in doesn't come in. But that's pretty rare. Nor most of the time, your antenna will pick up everything that is available. <laughs>